I'm going to take the opportunity of jo John not being here um, to get into quite a lot of, of detail on um, the MOOC, online learning, and uh, things like that, because there's there's quite a lot happening. Um, there was a for people who haven't been listening to the to the shows. Um, there was a, a conference in Exeter about digital universities, organised by Times Higher Education, and uh, there's another one in the same series in the in the United States at the at the moment, and um, I th I thought it it was definitely about digital uh, aspects of an existing campus. There wasn't very much about online as such uh, moving courses e either because you could do a, a, a first degree online or because you offered a lot more courses as continuing or adult or vocational courses um, there's various ways of looking at it but the the online part didn't didn't seem to be part of that discussion and I'd, I'd, I'd be interested people who went to it will know what's going on with that if any any comments about that would be welcome. We have we have got Twitter working now. W e n o t n o. Um, so I I I went back to Future Learn, and a course they have about being an online educator. And I've got sort of let sidetrack from that a bit, because one of the sections is is who who are you. And one, one way of looking at that is as either a visitor or a resident in, in terms of online uh, existence. So you can, bro broadly, you can, you can any, any platform or social scene that you get into, you're either just sort of dropping into it, in which case you're a visitor, or else you regard it as part of your normal life. You, 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 you uh, consult it quite often. You try and try and keep a um, a contribution going in in a particular context, and that makes you more of a resident. And then I discovered that these um, the videos that turn up in the Future Learn course actually came from somewhere else. Just just net skills, but they got it from David White who's the main speaker, well, the only speaker, um, there's, there's a, the, on you, because now I've got YouTube, um, I'm just going, I'm just, I, now I'm in this studio, I, I, I've got a few notes, but I, I haven't got the same ways into it, but if you just put, um, visitors and residents, David White, JISC, into YouTube, you get the top one, which is visitors and residents, which I've retweet. I've just tweeted a link to that, and then you also get. Um, that, and sorry, that comes from JiskNet Skills on YouTube. Then you also get David White, and that's in thirteen chapters. So I think they broke it down quite a lot. Um, and then there's other ones on credibility. So the credibility of whatever it is you're projecting as a source of online education. Uh, open practice. And then um, there's, quite, there's quite a lot of other ones, including one of them, which is just the mapping. Now, I think I'll come on to that, that in, a, in a bit. I think that's enough chat on this but to sum up um i th i think once once a campus goes digital it will become online i think people on that campus will find stuff somewhere else and also other people will find that that whatever content is digital um but you can still have a conversation about a digital campus as if it fundamentally doesn't make much difference and I can't hide my own background view, which I've repeated several times, that building more buildings or student accommodation is not the most sensible investment. Maybe um, 
working out more about open practice or something like that would be the thing. Anyway, this rather strange radio show, which will hang together in certain respects, um, 